and welcome to Stay at Home Steam with Team Neutrino. Today we're going to be making Mobius loops and cutting out paper. Each of these activities are a part of mathematics called topology. For this activity you'll need paper, tape or staples, scissors, and an adult to help with cutting. To create a Mobius loop, cut a skinny rectangle out of paper. Then, form a loop and twist one side 180 degrees before taping. Mobius loops are special because they only have one edge and one side. To prove this, grab a pen or pencil and mark a starting point on your paper. Now, draw a line going along the loop and it will make it to the other side of the paper, as well as back to the starting point. As you can see, we've made it back to the other side of where our paper started. And if we keep going, we'll make it all the way back to the beginning. If you go around the edge of the paper as well, you will see that it only has one edge. There are plenty of cool things to do with Mobius loops, and I will be showing some today. One interesting property of a Mobius loop is what happens when it is cut along its face. One would think that this would result in two Mobius loops, like how a normal loop with no twists would separate. However, if we cut along the line we made earlier, we can see that although you think it would make two separate Mobius loops, you instead get one loop that has even more twists in it. Now, if we carefully cut this open, so that we can see how many twists there are. We can see that there's one, two, three, four twists. And then we get a straight piece of paper. Another thing to do with Mobius loops is to connect take two and connect them together at a right angle as shown. Tape or staple them into this position and then cut each in half lengthwise like we did with the first Mobius loop. One thing to keep in mind here is which way each Mobius loop turns or twists. It can be clockwise or counterclockwise and different Mobius loops will be mirror images of each other. Depending on which way the Mobius loops rotate, the same way or different ways when you put them together, there will be different results when you cut them in half. Try each out at home and see what happens. Here are two Mobius loops taped together at a right angle with the same rotation, so I twisted both of these in the same direction. Let's see what happens when you cut them in half. You can see we get a boat-like shape and a boat that's twisted in a way where you can't really untwist it. As you can see here, I have two Mobius loops of opposing twists taped together at a right angle in the middle. Now I'm going to cut each down the center and we'll see what happens. You can see here we have the two Mobius loops cut in half but connected in the middle. Now if we let go, you can see we've made two interlinked hearts. As a bonus activity I will demonstrate what happens when two normal loops of paper are connected at right angles and cut down the center. This is set up like the last activity, with two loops of paper connected at a right angle. When one loop is cut down the center, it creates two loops. So what will happen if two connected loops are cut down the center? I 
As you can see, we have two normal loops that have each been cut down the center. Now, what do you think will happen when we let them go? Did you expect a square? There are many real world uses for Mobius loops. The main engineering application is belt drives, where the belt is a Mobius loop, so wear and tear is evenly distributed on the one side, making the belt have to be replaced less often. Mobius loops are also used in logos and graphics to represent cycles or infinity. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of Stay at Home Steam. Make sure to tag us on social media at FRC Neutrino and use the hashtag Stay at Home Steam for your chance to be featured on our story.